Ancona is a city in the Marche region of Italy that is situated high and with a panoramic view of the sea along the northern portion of the Canero promontory. Ancona, a city with a more than 2,400-year history, has a lot to offer, including fine art and architecture, historic churches, scenic views, verdant parks, and delectable cuisine. Ancona, which was first founded by Greeks from Syracuse to take advantage of the natural harbor provided by its gulfs, elbow, shape, Ancon, which means, elbow, in Greek, was later a Roman city, a maritime republic in the Middle Ages, and a significant port until the modern era. With its architecture, parks, and rocky coasts, this city is the perfect setting for the most persistent tourists. Before we start, make sure to subscribe if you want more travel guides and inspiration. Let's start the video. Here are a couple of interesting things to do in Ancona. Piazza del Plebiscito. Ancona's charming historic town is encircled by walls from the 19th century. It is preferable to explore Ancona by foot. In actuality, the city is not particularly big, making pleasant walking between points of interest possible. The central, Piazza del Plebiscito, also known as, Piazza del Papa, Square of the Pope, is where visitors can begin their exploration of the city. Clement VII, who revived the port of Ancona and the local economy in the 18th century, is remembered here. In the middle of this large square, the Pope's statue puts up a lovely display. The Annunciation by Gershino and the Crucifixion by Titian are two masterpieces that may be found at the Church of San Domenico, which is situated on the piazza. Overlooking Piazza del Plebiscito are the Government Palace, the Civic Tower with the clock, and a few stunning noble residences. Due in large part to the abundance of pubs, cafes, and restaurants, Piazza del Papa is the center of Ancona. It is a requirement for every trip to Ancona and is crowded until late at night, especially during the summer and on weekends. Santa Maria della Piazza, Ancona In Ancona, Santa Maria della Piazza is arguably the most significant and ancient church. The magnificent mosaics on the floor, which can be seen through the glass plates, are proof that there was an early Christian basilica in that location as early as the 4th century BC. Around 1100, the present church was constructed. The front is really lovely, and in the middle is a Byzantine bas-relief from Constantinople that depicts the mother praying. The Archangel Gabriel and a peacock, a representation of the resurrection and everlasting life, are depicted in the other two Byzantine bas-reliefs. Civic Art Gallery, Ancona The Municipal Art Gallery, which is little known even by the residents of Ancona, collects works by lesser-known local artists as well as some significant pieces from the Venetian school. A little but interesting museum with a few outstanding pieces. San Francesco alla Scale you will eventually arrive at the Church of San Francesco alla Scale if you keep walking. The Franciscan Order built the church and convent that are now annexed in 1323, and they were erected in honor of Santa Maria Maggiore. A bas-relief depicting St. Francis receiving the stigmata and plant motifs adorn the spectacular Gothic entrance. The church's interior, which has a single nave and is decorated with significant works of art by Pellegrino Tibaldi and Lorenzo Lotto, evokes the style of the 17th century. Arch of Trajan, Ancona. The Senate of Rome constructed the Arch of Trajan, which is located in the modern harbor, in 100 BC in honor of Emperor Trajan, who had expanded the port of Ancona at his own expense so that sailors arriving from the east may have a safer landing in Italy. It was on the water when it was built, and all approaching ships could see it. The white marble used in its construction has regained its luster as a result of the repair work done in 2006. Both locals and visitors to Ancona visit there for seductive nighttime strolls because to the brilliant night illumination. Cardedo Park. The Roman amphitheater from the 1st century BC can be seen between the Guasco Hill and the Cappuccini Hill. The amphitheater, which has a capacity of 10,000 people, hosts a variety of summertime performances that mimic the old theater. The Cardedo Park, which overlooks the sea and is Ancona's largest urban park, is another intriguing location. Here, you may take lengthy walks to really appreciate the lush nature, which in the spring is draped in a beautiful floral mantle. Ancona Foods We live in a seaside town, so it should come as no surprise that fish features heavily in the cuisine here, especially when we talk about, brodetto, and, bacala. The first one includes tomatoes and toasted bread slices in addition to a traditional fish soup, there are 13 different varieties. Given that a Academy of Stockfish was established in the city, the bacala, stockfish, contends with the brodetto for the title of dish of the Ancona people's heart. 
The rest of the menu includes masholi, wild mussels, squid, anchovies, and all of the fish from the Adriatic Sea. There is a puff pastry lasagna called Vinci's Grassi, with meat and tomato to counteract this dominance of the sea. The renowned Ascoli olives, which are olives stuffed with a mixture of roasted and then minced meats, mixed with an egg, grated Parmesan cheese, and nutmeg, are also noteworthy. They come hot and are fried. Excellent wines are also produced in this region, particularly Verdicchio di Gessi and Rosso Cinero. Ancona is a city in the Marche region of Italy that offers visitors a range of experiences, including art and architecture, historic churches, scenic views, verdant parks, and delectable cuisine. The city has a rich history, having been founded by Greeks and later becoming a Roman city, a maritime republic in the Middle Ages, and a significant port until the modern era. Some of the interesting things to do in Ancona include visiting Piazza del Plebiscito, Santa Maria della Piazza, the Civic Art Gallery, the Church of San Francesco alla Scale, and the Arch of Trajan. Cardedo Park is the largest urban park in Ancona and offers visitors the chance to take long walks and appreciate the lush nature. Thank you for watching this travel guide. If you enjoyed the video I would really appreciate it if you leave a like and subscribe.